What's up folks, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be checking out how to add two-factor authentication to our WordPress login. This is going to really up your security game in terms of being able to log in as an admin. You can also set this for other users as well. It's a quick and easy tutorial, so let's get into it. First thing we're gonna need here is we're gonna need a new plugin unless you already have WordFence. WordFence is a security plugin. If you search it um, after you click add plugin, and you're gonna see it comes up on the top. We're not actually gonna go for the WordPress uh, login security. We're gonna go for the full plugin because that already has WordPress login security. As you can see, it does offer a number of other features as well, which we do have videos about WordFence if you wanna go check any of them out. However, in this one we're going to be checking out exactly how to add two-factor authentication quickly and easily now you can link this two-factor authentication to your app i usually will have it on my phone or another device and then you can uh, whatever you have handy because then you can simply check your authentication code and then log into your site i would suggest getting your free license once you do install it it will say do you have an existing license or create a free one just create a free license pop in your email and then agree and register you'll then get an email i probably got most of this blocked out but you can click on install my license or you've got the manual installation key underneath so with your email and your license key input in here whether it's automatically or manually you can then agree to the conditions choose whether you want to uh, have email alerts sent to you via email and then install the license now with that installed you've actually got a great security plugin which is just going to be generally better for your wordpress site and now all we need to do is go down to login security again i'll have a lot of this um, blurred out for myself however what you've got here is your scan code on the left which you can then scan with your app you've got five codes that you definitely should download these are codes that you can keep and use one by one because they do expire after you use them in case something happens you can't get to your app and you need these codes so these are your five backup codes so i'm going to go ahead and download them keep them somewhere safe preferably off your computer on a usb somewhere else i'm going to grab my phone and open the authenticator app from here you click the little plus button and then you can choose scan a qr code simply a case of now taking your phone over to the scan code um, that you have on your word fence placing it near and i'm talking <laughs> i mean i say near i accidentally just flicked my phone like that and it somehow scanned it but it's now got it on your authenticator and it will now refresh every 30 or 60 seconds giving you a new code using this code you now enter the code below here and again it is time sensitive so be a quick once you've entered your code click activate you've now got two-factor authentication set up so when you go to log in through the back end of your website you're going to do your username your password and then if you do get in you're going to have to put your new code that gets refreshed every 30 or so seconds obviously if you want to deactivate it you can come back to your page deactivate it from here you can also generate new codes for your backup codes because obviously once you do use them they are limited you don't get to use the same code again for your backups and another interesting thing is that we've come over to settings you can actually change uh, whether it's optional or you need to have a two-factor authentication uh, for this what you can do is you can come over to administrator and you can change this to required therefore anybody um, after this point which creates an administrator account will also need two-factor authentication so if you have got anybody else using it they also can't get hacked whether it's a friend a colleague or something like that and then you can also choose to for anybody else perhaps you maybe you want subscribers and um, totally up to you but now that you have two-factor authentication you've given another layer of security between you um, and somebody getting into your site even if they have your username and your password they would physically have to have the mobile device on them and the renew code so unless you give that to them they're very unlikely to be able to get in if you've made any changes on here just save or make sure that you have saved as well and if you're looking to add google ads to monetize your website check out the video popping up now it's going to show you exactly how to set up your google ads after getting approved for them on your website 